Greetings, Earthlings! I'm your host, PJ Scribbles, and today I'm thrilled to introduce you to the world of Down to Earth. But more specifically, we're going to be recapping the entire relationship between Zeta, the alien girl from Zodia, and Cade, the, the human guy. S sorry, his title isn't as cool. There's a lot to cover, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Kate is your average guy living an average life. If average means getting dumped more times than I've had relationships in my entire life. He's grumpy and rude, but he has a good cat, so he gets bonus points. Kate's life doesn't stay very run-of-the-mill for long when an alien girl crash lands into his backyard. Though, let's all be thankful it wasn't into the house. Otherwise, there'd be no romance story to tell. Luckily, our new friend from Beyond the Stars isn't injured too badly. Zeta has a few alien abilities such as levitation, glowing eyes, and telepathy. The telepathy part will be important for us throughout the series, so keep it in mind! No, it's it, it's okay. I'm, I'm disappointed in that line too. It's first used to allow Zeta to communicate to Cade, although with a few language quirks such as calling him ugly when she means unique. Reluctantly, Cade agrees to let Zeta live with him until she learns how to blend in with humans enough to live on her own without being discovered. However, this agreement doesn't come without its terms. Three rules, specifically. Rule one is to contribute and clean up after yourself. Rule two is trust and rule three is is no feelings. <laughs> but don't get too excited yet, we're still in the roommates arc. With hints of the next <laughs> on the horizon, we will ignore that I choose not to perceive and so will you for the time being. Living with an alien goes just about as well as you'd expect. It's calm, relaxing, and only sometimes game consoles will be thrown into the sink to be fixed because you told said alien girl to feed your cat and Cat chaos occurred in your unattended home? Okay, so maybe I lied a bit. Things don't always go well, and misunderstandings lead into first fights, but things get resolved pretty quickly over pizza, so it's alright. Zeta and Cade's relationship grows as they bond together through playing games, listening to music, and learning how to cook various dishes. Cade also experiences a rarity for introverts, that being meeting someone who actually recharges him instead of making him tired. Rule 3 is already in danger and we've barely sunk our teeth into the series. Wait, am I forgetting something? No, no. We, we just started, things are going well. There's nothing that could possibly- Wow, hey, look at this cute panel of Zeta putting sprinkles on cupcakes and nothing to see here. <laughs> Though I think a question that has been on everyone's mind, why exactly did Zeta leave her home planet? Is she here to take over the world? Nope, she's a runaway Zodian with hints of her possibly being a key entity to keep her planet alive. But despite some of the less than good memories attached to her home planet, Z Zyda learns about anime culture, which sinks in just about as much as it does when you try to explain it to your grandparents. But hey, although things have been going relatively smoothly when it comes to learning how to live on Earth for Zeta at home, you know the whole keeping an alien thing on the down low? Yeah, no, they they get caught. N n not by her, b but by this guy. His name is Ethan, and despite seeing the entire fandom pull out their pitchforks and knives when he's first introduced, he's actually a pretty cool guy. He works at the store they visited that night and erased the camera footage of Zeta floating, and later becomes a bit of a wingman and teacher for Zeta. So you can relax. A less than cool guy we now get to know is Stace. <laughs> Cade's manager at Spenders, who fires Cade and then rehires him later because he has a crush on Zeta, slash wants her to be a model at Spenders. We also gain a new ally who knows Zeta's secret, Susie, an employee and model for Spenders as well. But between a low-key creepy boss and ex with stories about an ex, Okay, this is Delilah. I've hidden her away for long enough. She's honestly one of the most terrifying exes I've seen, and she's the one who Kate can't get over, the one who got away, and the one who's in the way. She's hinted to be pretty manipulative, like deleting all of your contacts in your phone level of crazy, including Kate's mom. 
Throughout season one, we only get hints of her, and at first, things seem fairly normal, but we quickly find out that that isn't the case. From a childhood friend mentioning that no one has had the best interactions with her online, to Zeta being afraid after what she saw going into his memories. Delilah and Cade haven't been together for almost two years, yet she still has him wrapped around her fingers. After her dramatic appearance at the end of season one, Cade slips back into to a deep depression, causing Zeta to temporarily move out to give him space. She also takes on the modeling job that Stace offered. And do you want to guess who's going to be there? The girl we all wish was back in New York City. But that's not all. It's a shame she's so pink for someone who's green with jealousy. Too bad Zeta's the only one rocking green in this house. Sorry, not sorry. Delilah takes interest in Zeta immediately after finding out that she's close with her Cade, which, girl, you broke up ages ago. What do you mean? The tension kicks up when Zeta and Cade throw Rule 3 out the window with a kiss. But they're not dating yet. Not until Cade is able to fully get over Delilah, expressing that he doesn't want to use Zeta as a backup relationship, which is probably one of the most healthy ways I've seen Cade all series. He's making progress. It'll take time, but we'll get there. And there's honestly so many cute moments in this series that I wish I had time to show and gush over. But unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Now if only Zeta wouldn't meet up with Delilah, sweet pea, please. <laughs> but hey, what do you think will happen between Zeta, Kate, and Delilah? Do you think the interactions between her and Zeta will go well? Leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Be sure to check out Down to Earth on a webtoon, and with that, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>